Daily Solutions is the podcast for me and you. Woohoo! Daily Solutions is the podcast that goes woohoo! Woohoo! All right. Hey. Hi, hi, hi. Okay, boom. Ashgun's over here in the Slam house. Slam a jam a over here. <laughs> and uh, we got a question. Yeah. Hit it. Ba-da-ba- Hot off the wire. What's going on with the military and floating? That's it. That's the that's the question that's we got. Okay. Yeah. What is going on? Well, first of all, they they they've been installing float tanks. They've been floating people for a while now, at least a, <laughs> forever. Yeah, for well, a, f- a few years. As long as the military has existed, they've been floating <laughs> people. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, for those of you who know nothing about this, yeah, let's start there. Um, float tanks are these kind of like big tubs. <laughs> the military. Is... <laughs> How many times are we going to use that? I feel like once every three episodes we use that joke. <laughs> we go further and further back, you know. Like gravity was formed in the first like, <laughs> millisecond. Of... The, uh, so, so the military some is years a ago, branch of the government. Some years ago, I want to say like... Four years ago. Sure. Look it up. We're not, this isn't exact. Don't <laughs> yeah, write us we're, telling we're us how experts. wrong we are. Yeah. And, and, you know, if you're listening to this 10 years from now, four years ago won't be accurate anymore. So keep that in mind too. Mm, that's true. Yeah. I was Look thinking. up when this is originally released. <laughs> so four years ago ish. Uh, right now. The Navy, we like heard wind that the Navy SEALs were putting on a, this is actually longer, I think. It was more yeah. like six, seven, it's been actually it's been almost like seven something years because we heard about this first before like that Sweden summit and that was in 2012. So yeah, it's been like six something years since we first heard about this. But uh, basically, <laughs> wow, that was so long. It's been addressing how long ago. But well, now happened. we know. You know, we pieced it together here, and everybody got to see the process. The, uh, <laughs> we surely edit some of these episodes. Like. <laughs> Let's go, 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 okay, go, go. Right. So, like, you know, six ish years ago, the, uh, <laughs> we heard when that the Navy SEALs were installing some float tanks to to have the, uh, like, SEAL Team 6, basically, is what, is what people were hearing, to, to have them float. And that was about as specific as of information as yep. most people got. Like, we heard they were doing research, but that research wasn't going to be publicly available. Uh, then we heard they did research, and that research is not, not publicly be, available. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but we heard we heard various anecdotes, like, like you know, it was going well, and uh, people were, were having a much better time sleeping, coming back, the kind of Navy SEALs and stuff like that. Yeah, things about um, the, the vigilance, like, uh, after... Um after going out on their missions, kind of going down, like the amount of time it takes to get out of that crazy hyper vigilant mode. Uh huh. So this is these are kind of like you know through the grapevine yeah, sort of yeah. sort of things we're hearing. Probably we're probably gonna get knocks on our door from the government after <laughs> yeah. releasing this episode. Yeah, if or this something, is the last I'm episode not... of the Daily Solutions <laughs> podcast. You'll know what happened. Uh, <laughs> uh, and Redacted. then and then more recently, maybe like two and a half years ago. <laughs> well, let's think about this. <laughs> Um, something like that. Something like two ish years ago, uh, more more work started happening in the military uh, in a more public way too. Like the the Air Force, kind of, I think, got, like found out what was going on with the Navy SEALs and and uh, and wanted to start doing some research themselves. And so they set up a couple float tanks in their Air Force research lab, and in, you know, as a way of getting kind of a bigger set of data, they also started purchasing float tanks and installing them in various university um, athletic groups, athletic programs. So like the University of Cincinnati, (laughs) for example. Yeah, exactly. And this might sound familiar to you if you were at the conference a couple conferences ago or or just saw the video uh, videos, I guess, from their presentations. But we had uh, a couple people both from the university and the Air Force presenting on on some of this. So definitely we'll, we'll put those in the show notes for uh, the, the conference videos so you can go and check them out and, and see. But that was also a really nice public update on what was being done. And... They that they were making a plan to have that research be more publicly available is what is that what I remember talking to them mm-hmm. about. So both the research in terms of what was coming in from the universities, which I think was largely even the universities like actually mailing in blood samples and stuff in the Air Force Research Lab doing the analysis, uh, and the kind of you know s- uh, smaller and kind of data set research that was happening in the actual Air Force. And, th- and this Air Force was doing the same thing. They were doing tests with their kind of most elite groups. To, to test for for performance and stuff like that. 
And um, we haven't really heard too much in the last, basically since that conference in, in 2017, where they were kind of talking about their plans and the initial research and, and stuff that they've been doing. So I haven't personally seen like published papers or anything like that. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know of any um, actual public research that's kind of come out of that more no. military uh, work that was being done. But I, they did tell me that was their plan. And I heard, you know, again, just kind of like through through the grapevine sort of communications that the data came back and it was it was looking good. And I, I think maybe the person who had like was leading the program switched apart or something, but uh, the the information they even had gathered in such a short amount of time has seemed to inspire much more a, a lot of sections of the military to begin installing float tanks in various military facilities and, and stuff like that. So it seems to be growing, and it seems to be something where we're we're seeing more and more floating kind of through the various branches of the military and for various applications and and being spread out further than just in kind of the you know highly specific like elite group kind of research areas. Which is awesome. I mean, in, in a lot of ways, right? Like getting getting floating out there, um, having research done, even if it's not totally publicly available right now, is still good news. And making sure that soldiers can come back and actually recover from really stressful missions better. You know, I mean, like knowing that it's a treatment for people who actively have PTSD also makes me hopeful. Maybe it can do something to, you know, help prevent that during the onset stages. And, you know, there's lots of lots of good in my mind that can come out, that can, like, come out of the... the adding float tanks as a part of the the kind of military regimen yeah it's yeah and <laughs> it's also it's a little weird to me yeah i so i don't know like here i i'm not the most you know pro-war sort of person <laughs> but, uh, like to me i'm all about like helping people recover i i wish people didn't weren't put in those situations in the first place to like have to like put their lives back together but i when you talk, when I talk to the like people or what they were doing this with, like the SEAL Team Six and and this Air Force and stuff like that, I was always I always went in with the impression that they were like looking at float tanks and being like, man, this seems like a really great way to help people deal with PTSD mm-hmm. or or have our vets have a way of you know recovering. And that's that's in my mind what was going on because people were using you know in their float centers, people see vets coming back and PTSD, and we hear all this stuff about that. And they definitely were using it for like recovery based yeah, experiments. Yeah. You know, like- but like, but, yeah, again, this, <laughs> when I talked to them about the research and what they were doing and what they were interested in, I, I got the sense, not even just got the sense, you can listen to a podcast recording interview we did with with the people running this in the Air Force from the 2017 conference, uh, which we'll also put in the show notes. And like it, I, like I, I very clearly got the sense that they were interested in float tanks as a way of like making people more efficient soldiers you know they're like like floaty super soldiers yeah like it'll help their response speeds and make them more you know like able to like perform their duties better and there's just something about that that felt weird to me that like floating all of a sudden is being used as like a way of like more effectively making military soldiers and i I don't know which at least theoretically is also why you know the like things get locked behind military privacy walls, right? Like right, why the SEALs weren't releasing any of that research. Because or... they're trying to train better soldiers and they don't want other people to also know how to train soldiers using float tanks, right? That, like, it's kind of the, <laughs> at least I assume, some of the idea from It's from just the outside. strange. Like, to think that float tanks are being, like, weaponized in a certain way. Yeah. So, I don't know. It, it didn't sit well with me. I still feel kind of weird about it. It I, does, it... it it does. It feels very strange. I 100% I don't even know what else to say about that, but I also feel my secret um, hope. Here's it. what I secretly hope is going to happen <laughs> is that it works really well, right? And like they start getting all of their soldiers to float and then they all float so much that they come to the realization that, you know, war is not something that we should be conducting and the entire like military industrial complex collapses as a result of it. So that's it's you know that's the inside plan, like kind of scoop, scoop it in under the radar and just make the entire, the entire concept of everything that they're doing. Make them question it. Yeah, make it yeah. question it and have it, have it just kind of slowly degrade. I like it, yeah. yeah? I mean, I, I like the, I, I mean, I, to be honest, that's kind of why I at least am in the whole float world. Not for that in the military in general, but it's just <laughs> like I, I trust more on the subtle influences of float tanks than just about anything else, right? I mean, if we're doing hundreds of floats over the course of a month or, or thousands and if other centers are doing the same thing i just sort of trust that a certain number of people hopping in the tanks who are stressed out and haven't thought about things in their life in a long time and don't take time to reflect or take that time out for themselves will just do that and come out a little better and a little stressed out and having thought about life a little more so 
I definitely hope that applies for for the military as well, right? Like I, and I, I probably don't think it's going <laughs> to take down the entire <laughs> complex, but I mean, if if people just come out and realize either you know this is actually something they've always wanted to do with their life and they're really excited to be in in their job in the military, or if they come out and say, hey, no, I, I don't want to do this, just like more reflection can't be a bad thing, you know. I think often the the insanity in the world happens when we're thrust into situations and we're told to do certain things and we never stop to think about it and never really ask questions. So I, I do like the float tank for, for that. And yeah, I, I hope for the best. Yeah, <laughs> it's, and it's, then, weird. it's weird. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, hopefully it'll also pivot into a more support from the military for vets coming back and floating for PTSD sure, and, and yeah. kind of accepting that as a, as a way of, of helping people afterward and then focus more on recovery and and stuff like that unless on float tanks is a method to kill people more efficiently <laughs> yeah exactly so hopefully hopefully that also is a result of this and and all the research isn't just geared towards i don't know like trigger response time or whatever whatever crazy <laughs> yeah, research yeah. they're doing um and that's about I, I can't think of anything else i really yeah know about what's going on other than uh hopefully at some point like that the air force will actually release release some data. I mean, they talked about some of it during their conference talks, so they did have some stuff in there, but um, I got the impression back in, back when they were kind of actively, uh, you know, putting the stuff out there before that conference that they were like hoping to actually publish papers. So Mm -hmm. we'll see. That would be cool. That would be great. I mean, that is one other really nice thing that come out of this is actually the furthering of the civilian research into float tanks as a result of the work that the military is yeah. doing. I mean, they just have such high budgets that they, they can just throw have at unbelievable things. amounts yeah. of money. Like, I can't. Like, what other institution could be like? Oh yeah, let's just start buying float tanks and installing them wherever the hell we want and doing lab tests and yeah, like, it's, it's crazy. crazy. I mean, that's a, we don't have to get into that, but like, <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy to me that they have this much money. But like, so yeah, that money going towards float tanks and then some of that data eventually building on the research that we have for the public, that sounds like a really cool benefit that yeah. can come out of all of this. So mm-hmm. I very much hope that that's the direction things go, even sooner rather than later, to be honest. All right. Is that, did, we, <laughs> did we ramble on about the military for long yeah, enough? I think that's good. Okay. Uh, if you have your own questions, go on over to... FloatTankSolutions.com slash podcast. Bam. Whammo slammo. That's right. Slam-o. And uh, yeah, we'll talk to you tomorrow. Yeah. Have a good one. Bye, everyone.